Okay, I got two stories for you, and this will determine whether Harris Teeter or Farm Fresh, which one's the best. Story number one. Got home from work, shot up to the grocery store, Harris Teeter. Went inside, so now I've got an anchor for some damn flounder. So I'm going through the aisle, and I'm looking. I'm walking down the case here, looking, looking, and looking, looking. There's some flounder. Nice big flounder, if I like that, right? And I look at the flounder, I'm that's a good one. Give me one of them big flounder. So the old boy behind the counter, he hooked me up. He gave me a flounder about that big. It was already cut off, good it out and everything. Right on time. So we finished our grocery shop, went and checked out. Bagged up the groceries and everything. Got back to the house, right? Get back to the house. And Jackie's putting away groceries and I'm putting away groceries and we're getting our ducks in a row. I get my cast iron skillet and throw it on the stove. Go in the cabinet, get me some cooking oil. Perfect. Get my knife, sharp my knife up nice and sharp so I can flay them on out. Had me some flounder tonight. Got my cornmeal out, got it all prepared. I'm looking in the refrigerator, I'm looking here and I'm looking there. What the heck happened to my damn flounder? Jack, what you doing? Once I, I went to the back refrigerator and checked in there, and looked in the front refrigerator, I said, damn it. They forgot to put my flounder in the damn basket. Well, let me call. I call them up to see what they, you know, see what they got to say. So I call them. Hey, yeah, I left my flounder up there. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. You know, they apologized. The lady was so nice. She says, sir, I'll bring it out to you. All right. I said, ma'am, you ain't got to bring the flounder out to the house. Just put it back in the case. It's all good, you know. You know, she, a nice young lady. She says, come in tomorrow night or next time you come in, you know, bring your receipt and tell them you talk to me. I ain't going to mention her name. She's a nice young lady, very nice young lady. And uh, we'll take care of you. I said, all right, no problem. You know, I didn't have fun that night. I may end up something stupid that night. So I went up the next day. I went back in the deli. I went back in there and looked down. Flat and raw sales. So I went ahead and got the fillets. It weren't that big. It was nice big fillets, but it weren't the one that I wanted. But no big deal. I ain't, you know, ain't no big deal. So I go up to the front checkout and bring out. And I told the show the lady from her seat and I said, yeah, they said they were going to give me the money back for it, so, you know, and uh, she goes, okay, no problem, sir. So she took me over to the customer service, the lady gave me my money back, and she wanted my fish that I was buying at night, and she uh, she gave me my money back for where they messed up yesterday, plus didn't charge me for what I had tonight. You know, I had a good little chunk of flounder there. I thought that was outstanding. I went home, had flounder, gut full. <sighs> oh, happy, right? So the other week, a couple of days ago, went to, I've been wanting some spare ribs. Gotta get some spare ribs. And I don't know that baby back stuff. They little thin things, ain't got no meat on them. I want some real spare ribs, something that got some meat on them. So I said, well, Harris Teeter usually don't have them, so I'll go up to Farm Fresh. Went to Farm Fresh, went in, had one pack of spare ribs left. I was like, all right, got me some spare ribs. Went out, checked out, everything good to go. Got home, got my Sharp my knife up. I took that bag off. Oh my god! Oh. <coughs> they were neck. <coughs> I can still smell. <coughs> anyway, they were nasty. <coughs> they were rotten. So I got out the receipt. Called them up. Yeah, I'm all the ribs up here this evening. Yeah, they're rotten. The lady goes, oh, I'm very sorry. You know, bring your receipt back up here and, you know, we'll give you money back. Right? She didn't offer to come pick up, you know, come bring me some new ribs or anything. She said, just bring it, we'll give you money back. Okay, no problem. I ate bacon. You know, I, I wrapped them things up nice and tight because they were right. <clears throat> anyway. So I wrap them up nice and tight, put them in the refrigerator. I didn't, you know, anyway, let's get off of that subject for a minute. So next night I went up there with my receipt. I put the ribs in a bag, wrapped up, put them on the counter. The lady looked through the bag. Oh, you had her ribs, no problem. Let me see your receipt. I get her receipt. And she goes, all right, swipe your credit card. So what do you mean swipe my credit card? Well, go put it back on the credit card. I said, I ain't got the credit card on me. Jackie paid for those ribs. I didn't pay for them. You know, she paid for them. I ain't got the credit card on me. Well, I got to put it back on my credit card. I was like, I don't 
have the credit card with me. Right? So she, she just says, oh, I said, get the manager, ask somebody. So she went and then talked to some guy. She came back out. Well, we got a choice. I can either put it back on the credit card or I can give you a gift card. I said, I don't want your gift card. And I ain't got the credit card. So them options just give me my $14 back. I think it's $14.42. And we'll call it even. Right? I guess they thought I was trying to scam her or something. Like so I said, she goes, well, I can't do that. I said, well, get the manager out of here. Manager comes up. Company policy is that we got to take and uh, give you, you either put it back on the credit card or give you a gift card. I said, sir, I don't want nothing from your store. I got some rotten ribs right here. I took them out of the package. Oh, my God. They were nasty. They had turned green over. <clears throat> they had turned green over overnight, right? They were, oh, my God. So anyway, guy, well, I can't do anything for you. Little fat W. Hey, you gotta put a gift card. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a gift card. So I said, give him my $14 back. Well, company policy said we don't do that. I said, take the $14. Send the kids in the other room real quick. And shove it up your son. I have the very bad experiences with the customer service of Farm Fresh. Hair's treated. Teeter might be a little more expensive, but they treat their customers right. Farm Fresh, I told that guy he could take them ribs and that $14 and shove them so far up as you know what. I was really upset about that situation. So nevertheless, I'm not sure I'm at Farm Fresh anymore. It's so one in Great Bridge, Chesapeake, Virginia, Great Bridge. They don't treat their customers like they should. Harris Teeter, Chesapeake, Henry Road, treat their customers great. Anyway. My outcome is, I had ribs tonight, look, I got them from Harris Teeter. So, anyway, I'm happy now. Harris Teeter is a very good store. Farm Fresh, I told him, man, he needs the $14, because they're going to be going out of business treating people like this. Anyway, that's the story. Harris Teeter wins. Farm Fresh is history.